Welcome to A State of Sight. I'm Isaac Porter from Lowry Porter Ophthalmology and we continue to bring you the latest in ophthalmology and eye care from right here in Raleigh, North Carolina. In the past week I had a patient with pterygium and I thought it would be a great time to bring you the details of what a pterygium is and what can be done for it. But first, to understand pterygium, let's review the eye anatomy. The conjunctiva is the thin skin that covers the surface of the eye. It's not shown on this eye model since you can see the eye muscles that lie underneath the conjunctiva, but when we look at the white of someone's eye, it's covered by this thin skin. Usually due to UV light exposure or possibly dryness or irritation, the conjunctiva can become inflamed and start to grow from here over towards the clear cornea and can interfere with the vision. This is what we call a pterygium. The word pterygium comes from a Greek word that means wing because the pterygium is usually shaped like a wing onto the eye. This is the same word that also gave rise to the word pterodactyl, which you, as you recall, is the dinosaur with wings. Our Hispanic patients call pterygium carnosidad. This can cause many problems, most commonly irritation of the eye and redness. However, if it becomes large, it can actually grow over the center of the cornea and interfere with the vision, or it can become large and elevated and cause astigmatism on the eye, which can change the vision. Fortunately, there are many solutions for pterygium. The most straightforward one is to use extra artificial tears or lubrication on the eye to make it more comfortable. However, many times when they become larger, it requires surgery to remove the pterygium. This can be done several different ways, but the way that I prefer to remove it involves taking a conjunctival autograft or a sample of healthy conjunctiva from the top part of the eye which is then moved down and glued into place where the pterygium was removed from to help prevent recurrence of the pterygium which is a common problem with many types of procedures to remove the pterygium. If you have any other questions about pterygium or you'd like to know more Please post on our Facebook. We'll be happy to interact with you there. And I hope you're doing well until we see you again next time on A State of Sight.